Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. So today I have a shopping haul for you. If you're new to the channel, my name's Andrea. I'm a mum of four children. I have a 14 year old, 11 year old, a two year old and a 10 month old. This is to feed all of us, including my husband, for a full week, breakfast, lunches and dinners and snacks. And I'm doing the Slimming World plan, but the rest of the family isn't. So some of the stuff is quite highly calorific, slash sins. Um, and then other stuff is fresh fruit, vegetables, that speed free food on the Slimming World plan. So it's to adapt and fit both Slimming World and non-Slimming World as well. So it's just like a general family. You know, one of the mem members or a couple of the members are dieting and the others aren't. So it's just a typical family shop. Um, like I say, full week, Asda. I'll include my menu plan that I plan on using all this stuff at the very end of the vlog. And I'll also include how much it cost. I did have a couple of substitutes, which I'll let you know as I go through. And then I had three items that were unavailable. I ordered some bedding. That wasn't in some vegetarian meatballs and some potato pops as well and they didn't have any of those so no subs I just got refunded the money as well so I've got all this side and then I'll spin round I've got the other side as well so I'll go through it all and like I say my menu plan will be at the end plus how much it cost so where I can I'll include sins but obviously just double check for yourself because I would hate to get it wrong or for Slimming World to update the sins and for you to follow those and it affects your weight loss. So always just double check to make sure. But where I can, I'll include things if I can remember off of the top of my head. Because I'm not using the app. So I will crack on over here. I'll start with the potatoes. Two big bags of the golden fluffy bacon potatoes. These are free. They make fantastic chips, mash and obviously baking potatoes. A good old jacket spud. They're nice and big, so really easy to peel. My absolute favourite. Got two of those, and they will all get used because we love having potato with practically everything. <laughs> Got two lettuces. These are both speed. Got some coriander, which is to go in a yoghurt mint sauce that I'm making this week. It's to go with a curry that I'm going to do. So that's speed as well. Two cucumbers, which are speed. Two big punnets of tomatoes. I normally always get baby tomatoes or cherry, um, baby plum should I say, or cherry tomatoes. But I run out with them so quick, so I thought I'll try a different tomato and see how I get on and if these last a little bit longer. So two of them, which is speed. Some skinny chilies because I like things hot. This is to go in that yoghurt mint dip that I just talked about. These are speed also. Two packs of onions, both speed, red and white. White I tend to use for cooking and then the red if I'm having a salad or if I'm just using them as fresh. But I do cook with them as well, but I tend to eat these ones raw instead. Two packs of carrots. These are both speed as well. I'd use them grated to bulk out meals, throw them in mints, stuff like that. Or if we are having vegetables, then we always have carrots because we absolutely love them. A pack of bananas. I only got one pack because we do have a couple left in the fruit bowl. Um, going nice and spotty. I've got to admit, I do prefer them like that. I'm not a fan of a green potato. I can't... A potato? <laughs> a green banana. You shouldn't eat green potatoes, by the way. They're very. They're not good for you. They're, they'll make you very poorly. So just FYI on that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, back to the bananas. Don't like green bananas. I don't know why, but they have a waxy consistency to me. So let these ripen for a little bit. They're free on Slimming World. A pack of cooking peppers. Very, very happy. Again, I ordered these last week to try them out. And I got majority yellow and orange. These are speed on Slimming World. And again, they've delivered these. There's only a couple of green, some red, and then a few oranges. They all look amazing, good sizes, nice and hard. So again, very, very happy with those. Their speed. Two packs of seafood sticks, which are free. Great for snacking on. Some pepperoni, you'd have to sin it. It's 205 calories for a quarter of the pack. So if you use the 20 calories to one sin rule, you can easily work out how much that would be for how much you want. Some back bacon rashers, smoked flavour. Now, some 
bacon you have to thin because it has sugar in it so just double check i don't eat bacon and you have to trim all the fat off as well this is for my hubby and the kids um, we're going to have a full english this week as a dinner and this is to go with that so there you go Red Leicester, you can have 30 grams of this as your healthy extra A. And yes, it's been eaten into already as soon as it got home. Someone wanted a wrap with it in. So, got to oblige. <laughs> 10 singles. These we tried last week. Absolutely delicious. They're really, really creamy. Very nice. Um, again, they're 57 calories each. So, quite high. But I'm sure you'd be able to class them as your healthy extra A, maybe a couple of them. Um, but obviously just check the Slimming World app for that or you can just thin them. And then again, we've got some easy peelers, they're speed, some apples, which are speed, 12 medium free range eggs, always buy free range. My conscience will not let me buy anything other than free range. Um, and these are free and protein low fat natural yogurt i'm hoping this is free on slimming world but i'm just going to double check it is low fat so i don't see why it shouldn't be but thought i'll give it a whirl because it's considerably cheaper than the next some five percent mints which is free not for it yeah free and protein but again i don't eat it it's for the rest of the family some honey roast ham went with a cheese in those wraps um i believe this is free but just double check because again i don't eat it so i do double check a big bag of chicken breast fillets um it makes really really good shredded chicken this does and i'm doing um pepsi max chicken this week so i'm gonna shred it and use that use this in that so look out for that one but these are free and protein and really good value some clover butter again you'd have to sin it let's have a look 10 grams 59 calories so you're looking at around about three sins for 10 grams of it some sour cream and chive this is to go in my husband's burritos this week some soft cheese again it is 63 calories for 30 grams so you can just sin that some hash browns to go in a full english whole green beans which are speed sweet corn which is free Red, uh, red onions, diced onions, which are speed. Some garden peas, which are free. Some of these just essential sausages. Everybody absolutely loved them, so I've bought them again because, again, cheap as chips. Yorkshire puddings, which will be sinned. And then I've got blue milk for Alana, which you can have 200 mils for your healthy extra A. Green milk for your healthy extra A, you can have 250 of that. Some cocktail sausages, I'll just cook them up and throw them in the kids' packed lunches throughout the week. And then some onion rings as well, which will carry sins. So again, with a Slimming World plan, you can eat pretty much anything. Um, you've just got to make sure that you sin it, obviously, accordingly. And it's just like calorie counting in that way, that as long as you stick within your sins or calories, then happy days. Over to this side, I've got a couple of garlic breads. These are absolutely fantastic for the price. Two packs of white wraps because we do use wraps a lot. We use wraps more than we use bread. So that's why I do end up getting lots and lots of wraps. A pack of Weight Watchers white wraps for me. Um, obviously, you'd have to sin these ones. These ones you can have as your healthy extra B or you can sin them at five and a half sins each. But I always tend to use them as my healthy extra. Smaller than the other ones, but still absolutely fine. Two of these garlic and coriander naan breads now they're quite big my plan with these were because they are ridiculously high i think i worked it out yeah at around about 25 sins each or something like that but i'll just double check so my plan this week is again each to their own this is just what i'm going to do so please don't follow my um suggestion or anything like that it's just what i'm going to do and i wouldn't want it to affect your weight loss but i'm willing to risk it so that i can have stuff like this just like if you were calorie counting you can have a higher calorie day and then steal your calories off the rest of the week and balance them out that way i'm planning on using my sins from my week so lower my sins throughout the week so that i can have this one evening and i'm planning on making pizzas out of them so that's what I'm going to do. So say if it is 25 sins for the garlic and coriander naan bread, I'm going to use my full 15 sins for that day on it. 
plus I'm going to steal 10 sins throughout the rest of the week off of my other days and balance it out that way. Like I say, it's not what Slimming World suggests by any means, so please don't shoot me for saying that because I know it's not what Slimming World suggests, but it's just so that I can incorporate stuff like this and I'm not missing out. And if it works, happy days, and I still get a loss, I'll continue to do that. But if it doesn't, then I've only got myself to blame and I'll go back to just using the 15 sins a day. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing with these. So I've got a couple of packs of them. I've got, I did have a couple of packs of these um, bubble chips, T-bone steak flavour, but the family's already been into them. So you're only seeing one of them. Again, you'd have to sin them. I don't eat those. I eat Watsits and them teddy faces and things like that instead, which are lower sinned pack of bagel thins these are for the boys and then the bagel thin soft seeded ones these are for us and one of these is your healthy extra b for the day or you can sin it some lasagna sheets which are free mint sauce oh wrong one <laughs> mint sauce and it's only five calories per 15 grams so for 30 grams it's only half a sin which is great so i bought some more of that i know i only bought some last week but i'm making a mint and pea soup this week so a lot of the other mint is going to go in it and then i'm using it also in another sauce that i'm doing this week so that's why i bought another one so that i definitely don't run out i bought some more light mayonnaise two sins for a tablespoon of this at 40 calories again can't get lighter than light so sticking with the light and it is actually a lot nicer so i'm not sure if i'll just end up sticking with this and just using the sins for passatas Excuse the state of them, but my husband like literally just threw them into the boot. So they got completely battered. These are Speed. Did I mention them? Free. Some long grain white rice, easy cook. This is free on Slimming World. And then I've also got some basmati as well. So when I do my curry, I'll have basmati with it. With it. When I do my um, fried rice to go with my Pepsi Max chicken, I'll be having long grain instead just because they do taste different, different texture. This definitely fries better than that does. So that's my plan. So again, free. Some hot dogs for the kids. They'll carry sins. Soy sauce, which is free. A couple of tins of chopped tomatoes. I could have sworn I ordered three of those. So I will have, in fact, no, I didn't. I ordered two. So I'm not going to go and check the boot. <laughs> I ordered two, but they're speed. Uh, four tins of chickpeas because the curry I'm going to be making will have these very heavily in it. These are free in protein. Baked beans, just three tins of those. You're limited to how many you can have and you can only have three tins. And these are free on Swimming World. Apologies if you can hear Alana kicking off in the background, but by the sounds of it, she's not happy with something that Alyssa's done. Probably took her iPad off of her or something. Kids. Um, a couple of these super noodles, these are for the kids, again carry sins, some tuna chunks in brine, as long as it's brine or spring water then it's free in protein, otherwise if it's in any oil or dressing you'll have to sin it, some spaghetti loops, these will carry sins, yeah she's not happy about some or telling someone something, <laughs> bless her, um, yeah so you'll just have to sin those but those are for the kids. I've got some Hellman's tomato ketchup. It was only a pound for this versus the Heinz. So I thought I'll try it with the rest of the family and see if it's okay for a swap. And then me, I don't mind this, 50% reduced sugar and salt. It's only half a sin per tablespoon for that. And that's what I'll have and I really don't mind. Let's have a look at the sins on this. So 13 calories a tablespoon. So yeah, it's probably about a sin still. And then we've got some barbecue sauce. Again, that's one sin. Oh no, that's one sin a tablespoon. Ah, so that's only 13 calories. So maybe that might be half a sin. Or they might just round it up and say a sin. I'll double check that on the app. Fry light, which is free as long as you don't drink the whole bottle. Some OXO cubes. I just went with the beef ones again because these ones were on offer. And they're free. Some Two bags of pasta shapes, which are free on Slimming World. Some Rocky chocolate biscuits, 103 calories each. So you're looking at around about five sins, maybe a little bit over per Rocky biscuits. These are to go in the kids' pack lunches. And then we've got a variety of drinks. So again, already been into Diet Lemonade, which is sin-free on Slimming World. I've got six bottles of those. 
because the kids like to dilute it down with some Vimto or dilute the Vimto down with the lemonade, I should probably say. But um, sugar-free Vimto, which is free. Some regular Pepsi. This is my husband's, so it will carry lots and lots of sins. Pepsi Max Cherry, which I've already been into because, quite frankly, I'm addicted. This is sim-free. And then the final little bits, which are non-edible. Please don't try. <laughs> A pack of Pampers Sensitive Wipes, my absolute favourite wipes. These are for the Littlies. Oh, sorry, that was very noisy. Some bin liners. Some of these Lenore um, scent boosters. I just love my washing to smell really, really nice. So I got some of those. And then I love lavender scent. So whatever I get, it's always like lavender, usually, or tropical. Um, but I topped up with these. Our washing machine will literally only take liquid stuff. It won't take powder. Um, you fill up our washing machine with... Um, softener and detergent and you just leave it and the washing machine just takes whatever it needs for each wash so it's only every like week or so that you have to actually top it back up again so really really good rather than having to do it on every single wash so i've got those got some loo roll with coconut oil this smells absolutely lovely and when you've got it in the bathroom especially having boys in the house when you've got it in the bathroom just out on the side it makes the whole bed bedroom makes the whole bathroom smell really nice so we like this one and we also like the watermelon and strawberry one as well because again it just releases the smell and it makes the bathroom smell lovely some toothpaste because everybody's got teeth well most people do <laughs> so i need to brush them some extra th thick bleach just for cleaning and then some um, anti-dandruff shampoo, which my son asked for, so he's not going to be impressed that I've said that. <laughs> some more shower gel. I've got the coconut and shea butter. I nearly said flavour then. And then I've got some zingy lime as well to help wake us up in the morning. And then two packs of sanitary towels for both me and Alyssa. So having a lot of girls in the house. Well, three. Eventually Alana will get there, but that's many, 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 many moons away. But yeah, it means that we need to top up on those regular as well. So that is everything that I've got here. All in all, I spent £115 and something pence. So not too bad. It would have been more because, like I said, I had the bedding as well. Definitely feeling how expensive stuff's got because just ordering stuff week by week I can tell that things are just getting ridiculously expensive and something needs to happen and stop because for example I used to always buy as the zone pasta always and love it I've resorted to this now because I remember when you used to be able to buy two packs of the 500 gram asda pasta just the normal one for pound for a pound so two so a kilogram in total for a pound. Now it's 85p for 500 grams. That's how much it's gone up. It is ridiculous. And when I'm saying that, I remember when you bought that, it wasn't even a year ago. That's how much it's gone up in price. It's just astronomical. And last week when I was looking at pasta, because I was like, oh, should I get some of Asda's own? It was 80p. This week it's 85p. So in a week it's gone up another five pence. Whereas this seems to be staying nice and low. So that's why I've just bought it again. And then I can say that about many, many different things as well where it's just going up. So yeah, this is everything that I've got. Like I said, feed us for a full week, family of six. And I will show you next the meal plan. Right, so this is the menu plan for this week. So you've just seen my shopping haul and this is what I'm planning on making throughout the week. We're actually starting on Thursday today. So breakfast you'll see are all the same. Fruit, yogurt, toast and egg. I've missed off cereal on there, but that's another option that we can have. Apologies for Alana and Kobe, but they're both fighting over the same toy. I've got plenty of years of this to come yet, haven't I? <laughs> um, lunches throughout the week's just for me, but the weekend is for everybody. The reasoning is that the kids eat at school or have a packed lunch and my husband does the same at work. Um, and then dinners are for all of us and then snacks are for all of us as well, except for Kevin the kids can have more other options like chocolate and stuff and different crisps, biscuits, which I can't. So I've not wrote it down on there because I'm being selfish at only what I can have. <laughs> I just don't want to be tortured, that's why. So like I said, we're starting on Thursday. I've made minted pea soup, I'm filming a what I eat in a day at the moment and then this evening we're having lasagna, 
and the minted pea soup I'll just have it as it is the lasagna I'm going to serve it with chips salad and garlic bread then Friday, jacket potato, either cheese and beans or tuna mayo, not decided yet, see how I feel, and then serve it with a salad. And then in the evening, Pepsi Max chicken, I'm going to do salt and pepper veg with that and fried rice. Saturday, we're going to have tuna cheese melt, again serve it with salad. And then in the evening, me and Alyssa are going to have a chickpea and lentil curry that I'm going to make from scratch. Serve it with basmati rice, an onion, tomato and cucumber salad and then a mint yoghurt dressing. And the boys are going to have chicken burgers that they absolutely love from Iceland. Serve it with chips and onion rings so that will sort them out. Then Sunday I'll have another portion of the minted pea soup that you'll have seen that I make if you catch my what I eat in a day. And the evening, Sunday evening, we're going to have a meatball pasta bake that I've already made before in the past and it's an absolute favourite. Serve it with garlic bread and salad again. And then we spin up to Monday. I'm going to make a batch of tomato soup. That's if I don't have any of the minted pea soup left. Alana, enough darling. That's if I don't have any of that left. If I do, I'll have that instead. But if not, I can easily make a quick speedy tomato soup that'll be all sim free and lovely. So have that for lunch and then dinner. It's going to be quite a high sinned meal because this is the day that I'm going to weigh in on. I weigh in on a Monday um, and I'm going to use them pita, not pita breads, them naan breads and make pizzas out of them. Again, serve it with salad, chips, whatever I fancy. And then lunch is jacket of spud again, topping pending, served with salad, barbecue chicken burritos for dinner that evening. Again, I'm going to do a fried rice, a pepper, onion and sweet corn fried rice, serve it with salsa, salad and that's it for that one. And then Wednesday having a full English in the evening, the works, hash browns, sausages, eggs, tomatoes, all of it. I can have some hash browns as well, I'll just have to thin them, otherwise everything else will be sim free apart from, no, because I've got Linda McCartney sausages, so everything else can be sim free and I'll use my healthy extra for the bread. And then for lunch that day, I am aware that I've done it backwards, it's just going to be a pasta salad.